cordially invited to attend High Tea with the Metal Duchess, brought to you proudly by Pure Grain Audio. We'll be sipping on the finest teas with South Africa's finest bands and getting to know them and their music. But just like everything in life, there's always a twist. Seeing as this is high tea, guests will be required to be on their best behavior. The lady's maid has given them a lesson in proper high tea etiquette. And should they break decorum, we will make them pay for their sins. Don't worry, their hard-earned money will go to charity. And while the Duchess is away on said charity events, the lady's maid will take the reins and entertain our guests with a challenge or two in our parlor games. Welcome to High Tea, the Metal Duchess's way. Welcome to High Tea with the Metal Duchess. Welcome to High Tea with the Metal Duchess. And we're in Afrikaans today. And we're in Afrikaans today. And we have Ale Cobra. Welcome Ale Cobra. Thank, Thank you for joining us for High Tea. So, tell me a bit about the band. Who are you? And where do you come from? We're Ale Cobra from Los Angeles. <laughs> no, no, from Pretoria. And we've been around since 2005. And yeah, that's us. This is Slade, Kali, and Evil. And I mean, Sir Slade, thank and you. Lord Kali, and Dr. Evil. Ah, <laughs> Dr. Evil. As he drinks as well. As he drinks. <laughs> Quite. So, Ella Cobra has been around for a few years, yeah. but you look like Steel Panther, you sound like Guns N' Roses, you basically are a very different aspect of the scene. Can you explain to me a bit about the whole image behind the band. We're not trying to be like Steel Panther and trying to be like Guns N' Roses. We like them and we listen to them. We're trying you to know. be like us. Yeah, yeah, they're copying <laughs> us. <laughs> um, in South Africa, perhaps, uh, this isn't a normal look for bands. Um, but in the Scandinavian countries and in Europe, there's sort of a revive of what happened in the 80s um, in Los Angeles is happening now in the Scandinavian countries. And um, that's where a large part of our audience sits at the moment as well. Um, but it's it's just coincidence that the four of us found each other and we sort of look the same and we make the same music that we like, so, uh, you know, it, it works. You, oh, I thought I was looking in the mirror. We can spot you in an airport and I mean, you guys have traveled, really traveled, not just in South Africa. And they recognize them in Italy. Eh? Yeah, in Italy, at the border, at the border they want the autographs <laughs> and then in, when we try to enter Europe, they recognize us as well, and they locked us up, so... <laughs> oh, well, 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 well. Let's go back, they did what? So, um, yeah. we had this whole tour plan, Europe, and then the UK. And the Europe leg of the tour went fantastic. And we had this fantastic tour manager that did everything perfectly. <laughs> Except uh, let us know that we need entertainment visas, you know, for the shows that we're doing in the UK. So um, in Calais, in France, uh, we attempted to cross the border um, and as we were standing in line, we were with our buddies from Strike Nine and, and Wall Street from the US. Um, New and York City. The, the way we look, um, you know, it sort of attracts attention because everyone that goes through that border seemed like school kids on that day. It was school kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, so I was like, don't be like those guys. <laughs> yeah, these three bands in their leathers and their long hair and their makeup and, and, and whatever. And as we went through, uh, they, they just checked what the purpose was for visiting to the UK. And uh, they weren't happy when they heard we were a rock and roll band coming in to take all of their UK pounds. <laughs> so uh, they put us in a little glass box for okay. about two or three hours and for the kids to just see us, you know, because they were walking by us. And I guess that, that one lady with a frog march us all through that whole place. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then... Uh, <laughs> This. I believe that's the nation. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I left what? the UK? <laughs> <laughs> this uh, bulky security guard came and, and told us, you know, they're just going to interview. What do you? They're just going to interview us uh, one by one, and they, they took us one by one, you know, to the backstage area. Of, of, backstage. Yeah, the backstage area <laughs> of uh, the customs office, uh, but never, no one returned. 
Yeah. Um, so we got less and less in this little glass box, and everyone went through the store and just didn't come back. Yeah, I was in there first. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can't um, swear. <laughs> but as you go through the doors, they ask you to remove your belt and your shoes. And yeah, your that's phone. Yeah, took his uh, uh, one guy with uh, latex gloves <laughs> on. And, yeah, hot. Uh, did you give yeah. a consent for the latex gloves? <laughs> Over there, they're not asked for consent. <laughs> that's why I, you know, I had to just. Uh, <laughs> but uh, they marched us into this little, I don't know, three by four cell. And uh, we sat there for 11 hours while they did their paperwork <laughs> to deport us back into France and uh, refuse us entry into the UK. And after a while they took us out smoking and you could see everything that was confiscated. <laughs> and I saw that they confiscated his boiled eggs. <laughs> 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 it was the best thing ever. When you accept Why? British eggs. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with the eggs? <laughs> Look, when you're on tour, it's not always glamorous, and, and when there's catering, you need to pick up what you can. <laughs> no, it's very yeah. Especially yeah. with a decent manager, they didn't stop for food, you had to provide, you know. <laughs> you guys obviously have a lot of fun on tour. Yeah. I mean, the four of you are more brothers than friends and bandmates, and you guys are actually brothers. <laughs> what is the highlight of your tours? Not sleeping outside, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had to do that? Twice. Oh, yes. In the UK. Well, on that tour, times. same yeah. tour, I had to sleep on the street. I think twice. Twice. Yeah. twice. Germany and, yeah. and France. Oh, no, the first time it was raining as well, so it was, <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. It's fun, but it, it brings us closer. You know, I had a sleeping bag at least. <laughs> Just one? Just one. Did, Did you guys look like Alice Cooper in the morning? Like, <laughs> with the scar <laughs> <laughs> running down. We didn't even have makeup on. <laughs> um, no, look, the response we got from the European crowd was fantastic. Um, it was an eye-opener anyway uh, to, to go over there and they actually sing our songs back to us. Um, and they're sort of a different culture as well, you know. People come from afar and they all know each other from the different countries in Europe. Um, and it's sort of like a, a metal community that they have there. Um, so every time you play, you, you got the sense of people really appreciate what you're doing. And I think that's why we'd go back every time, even if we have to sleep outside in the street, whatever yeah. the case may be. It's fine. Because uh, it's, it's fantastic. It's really good. Yeah. We'll go in the summer next time. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have a huge fan base in the Scandinavian countries. Why do you think it's so big over there? I think it's a scene. Uh, there's still, well, in Slees. Well, yeah, in Sleesburg, I think there's a way bigger scene that side. In South Africa, it's not the case anymore. Even in rock and roll, if you if you, if you just check the shows and stuff, it's getting in a some way it's getting smaller. But also, like this uh, festivals and stuff is still. And it's rare for them to see a South yeah. African band. It's a bit exotic, you know. Yeah, because, yeah there's guys from bad. Africa. Yeah. They don't live in the bush. They play Slees metal. Because <laughs> <laughs> seriously, that's the perception. Yeah. You know. Uh, don't you have a so tiger? So it's like that's from India. I've got a lion. What about? <laughs> 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 In Belgium, yes. Yes, but only the naughty words. Yeah, we uh, they love it. But I'm not allowed to say it, but you guys know what I'm thinking. <laughs> 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 I think that just deserves one right now. Let's bring it back to the music. Tell me about your process of writing. You've released lots of singles and lots of songs. How does this all work out for you guys? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's a collaborative uh, effort. Uh, we all come with ideas to the studio and then we just mess around until something pops out. Some of the songs are easy, the Shotgun Slinger single, I mean, that really, I mean, we've never even played it together and the song just evolved out of nothing. Other songs we work hard at. Like right, Kali will. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he came with sort of the finished product, you know, of what Ride is and we had to learn the song. Um, and the way we recorded it was different from the way we wrote it um, initially anyway. So once the album was done, it was like, oh, oh, we have to, uh, <laughs> we have to actually learn the song and, and get the harmonies right. The new album we're busy writing at the moment. Um, Bit of a different approach, I guess. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're trying to do what we did with Shotgun Slinger with more of the songs on the new album. Now. Write it together in studio, practice yeah. it, then record it. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so tell me a bit about this new album that you're putting out there. How, what are your plans? 
from now until this album comes out? Are you going to do two or more? Yeah. Or are you just going to be in the studio? Well, after all. Yeah. This time around, I mean, we have plans to go back to Europe really and good. actually do Sweden this time around. Um, but we want the album finished before then. So we have some solid deadlines, um, you know. Solid deadlines. <laughs> solid deadlines. <laughs> That's a pun. <laughs> I love you, <laughs> But uh, uh, yeah, so we're busy. We're knee deep in the writing process at the moment. Um, and we'll probably start with some of the guide tracks very soon. Uh, but uh, look, the the worst thing you can do as a band is is predict when the album's going to be finished, because then you're just setting yourself up for failure. Uh, we'll do it as quickly as we can, um, but we want it ready for our tour next year in July. And yeah. tell me, how do you guys balance, because we were just talking about this earlier on, day jobs and a huge music career, because you guys are always busy, you're always playing shows, you're always recording, how do you balance it all up? Oh, WhatsApp group is very busy. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's a logistical nightmare. Luckily, we're only four in the band. I don't know how Deadline does it. We've <laughs> 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 no, got six guys. I think it's a lot of yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. organizing. And he's got two kids. Yeah, I have two, two kids. and um, It's not easy. You have to plan around a lot of things. Um, but look, if, if any of us stop making music, I think you know we might as well stop living. It's, <laughs> it's, it's really it's what we're about. We've been doing this since we were kids. Um, so there's no other way than you make a plan. You know, yeah. you, you juggle it, and yeah, it's possible. Yeah, you know, and then the trick is also to kind of respect each other's uh, schedules, so we don't get upset if somebody can't make it. You know, we just plan around it. But there's also sort of, a, I think, a perception of you know, rock and roll is rough, and, and the tour we went on proved that. You know, um, but. Most of the rock and roll bands out there have families and they, you know, have schedules outside of their music as well. Um, the industry has changed so much where you can't really only rely on music anymore to, to be able to, you know, look after their family. Please buy stuff on it. iTunes, go check it on the <laughs> <laughs> Rather buy the CD I mean, yeah, yeah. or the vinyl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you see for the South African music scene progressing forward? We need more venues and mm. cool venues. Yeah. Absolutely. And no more Justin Bieber. <laughs> I think Justin Bieber's old news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is old news, I guess. Uh, well, I don't know, like Donna said, we need more venues. Um, I think we need to get that um, hype and that vibe back. That we have, like an old school uh, Opie Copy, you know, like yeah, 2003, uh, 2000. Yeah. There's no more. And it was a big vibe. Yeah, there's no more copy and stuff like that anymore to look forward to. And I mean, if you think ten years back, you can go out, you will always see a new band and you know and have fun. But it's not like that anymore. So I don't want to be negative about it. <laughs> I think it. I, I can see actually it's changing again. There's a lot of bands on the scene and people are actually going to shows again. The organizers are a click, you know. So they hopefully, that only can certain bands just go. Yeah, but it, it's it's sort of. When we were young, we used to go out and, and watch bands like yeah. Cedar, you know, and, and it was an inspiration to us in South Africa <laughs> as well. So if the young guys come to the shows, always after the show they come to us and say, yeah, they don't see guitar solos anymore, you know, mm -hmm. anything like that. And I mean, he works in a, at a music shop as well, you know, to get young guys actually to come and buy instruments again yeah, and, get them and to make you music. know, get a garage and start making noise and yeah. sort of the neighbors and whatever the case may be. But um, it needs to grow from the young guys as well, you know. But, yeah. Do you think social media helps the industry or breaks the industry? Both. Both, yeah. No. Mm -hmm. We're way back when we didn't have Facebook, we would go out to see a band in a venue, you know, like, like no matter who was playing. But now it's easier. Oh, who's playing there tonight? Ah, oh, damn it, I saw them last week, you know, and then it's got plus. Yeah, There's a bit of that, but I think on, on the positive side is uh, with the whole social media revolution, there's no more. Um, and we need to sell us all to the record labels and all that stuff. Yeah, we, we would never have had the reach uh, to our European and Scandinavian no. audiences without social media. You know? yeah. How would they ever have gotten all of our music? Um, postcard. <laughs> <laughs> that is a postcard. <laughs> yeah, so um, it, it's. I think it's a good thing, you know, you can actually interact with your fans as well. We get a lot of messages from people, you know, across the world, yeah, the, like the music and 
um, then you can actually chat to them. Uh, where, how would you have done it without social media? Speaking of postcards, do you have any crazy fan moments? Because I mean, four long-haired, <laughs> beautiful men with partners probably get a lot of social media inbox DMs personal request. Oh, no, not then. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think the guy that struggles the most with it. Though. I get mostly from guys like... I'll just say Bob's and Virgin. <laughs> Can I show them? <laughs> and, okay, so we have a photo. I don't know if you want to hold it up in the bed. Do you want to hold it? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? That's nice. This is young MacGyver. <laughs> <laughs> my mom just chopped off my mullet, but um, it was a good day, yeah. This is a ponytail with the back. <laughs> just out of shot, you know, those instruments. It's also me. Is it tricky having a band with siblings? Well, okay, to be honest, we're not siblings. Uh, we're, we're just brothers by... I don't know. Um, I don't know. <laughs> we've, we've known each other since... We're when was 15. it? 15. Yeah. 15, 15 16. Forever. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, we we're at, just like brothers anyway. I mean, we've been through a lot. We've grown up together with music. We played in different bands, you know. But whenever the two bands played together, it was always like, yes, done. That's going. Um, and then once you go on tour with someone, then you're proper brothers. You know? yeah, <laughs> we were spooning. <laughs> Share everything. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a good spoon. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing. And just any final words that you'd like to say to your audiences out there? We love you. <laughs> no, seriously, the support is fantastic. Um, we wouldn't be doing this if, if no one liked you know what we were doing. Um, and especially, you know, in South Africa as well, whenever we play a show, you know, we see the same faces coming to see us. Uh, we love it and um, our, our fan base really means so much to us. Um, so buy the new album when it comes out. <laughs> buy the old album. <laughs> buy the old <laughs> album as well. The previous ones. Um, pretty much full, that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys. Oh. Ten points. Ten points. Good Good score. Score. Is it open? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It has given you consent. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm you, pretty sure you're Yes, please. We're trying. <laughs> like the <laughs> Like a true Dutch dress. It's true Dutch Why do you have the Bolkuzi on the table? She never carries. <laughs> <laughs> Her sorrow school. We're going to go to the casino now. And we're going to double this for charity. <laughs> On the slot machine, Scully, you'll all on to that. It's actually just got some well, turn and gravel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I'm actually rather disappointed. Oh. Actually oh. Oh. There's a couple of things you need to know. Yeah, we need to help. Coffee, your tea. This is going to what charity? To the kids? It's going to underprivileged kids who want to take music lessons. Awesome. Oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> she, we came prepared. We were very well behaved in this interview. Don't play drums! <laughs> <laughs> I know Basil did well. Don't turn around. Yes, Basil did well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just the mention of the line. <laughs> Please. Oh, I've got a small phone. Huh? Okay, now can you look at it? It all goes to a Thank you for the content. I paid for that. Please blur it up. Please do. Look, but if we're short, you can send the ball to Don Cobra at. Uh, do you have like a card machine? <laughs> <laughs> we can arrange one. Okay, now it's a canoe for the ball. We'll send the credit card to you. Yeah. Thanks for a good call. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you so much, Anna Cobra. Thank, Thank you for so being, being so charitable to the teapot and sitting straight. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a couple of sludge holes in there, I'm not going to lie. We're doing good on this side, it's that side. It's <laughs> the rhythm <laughs> section always. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Welcome back. We actually have the Metal Duchess here present for today's sporting events. Today our sporting events will be a tea bag toss. <laughs> so on our display over here we have two big white cups which represent two points. Then we have two little cups which represent five points. And then a big cup like teapot in the middle which will represent 20 points. The boys get four tea bags each and they will take it in turns. So lads, who would like to go first? 
Wait, it's the Cobra. Wait, I'll be Mr. Cobra. Sir <laughs> Cobra. Sir Cobra. <laughs> this is called <coughs> One Bag, One Shot. The intensity. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Good. Good. You're fired. Yeah. I don't even need to take <laughs> away. Damn it. <laughs> Ooh, getting closer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's him. Oh. <laughs> I think we should. I think 10 points for getting it on the lip of the teapot. If any of them are getting it. <laughs> they nail, <laughs> man. All right, next up. Let's see if we get any. Boy, Boy, next Boy, Boy, next start, eh? Ooh. Going for an Ooh. underarm throw here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I love you, you sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, next. Oh, that's a surprise. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just like that. Cup of soup. Ooh. Ah! Oh. Okay, you get one more round. Let's try and see if we can get something in. Okay. Oh, is it like school? <laughs> Works. No, oh, no, no, no. this time round. Oh, <laughs> mine is a point. <laughs> and sportsmanship. Oh. oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> So far, you haven't made the method such as clap, so you need to impress it, boys. Oh, it's a weird one in the game. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Let's just One hand slide. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sir Don is our winner today. Congratulations. And for your prize, the Metal Duchess will give you a prize. Thank We'd throw it if you kneel down. Thank you very much. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, Ale Cobra. It was fantastic having you tossing some tea bags. <laughs> and the Metal Duchess highly approves. I do. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you.